Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. Today is July 16th on a Tuesday, a rainy Tuesday. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to www.clearviews.info. That's C L E A R V I E W S dot I N F O. I want to ask you, everyone, stop with the alcohol, stop with the drugs today. Let today be your first day. Uh, we had a pretty interesting weekend. Um, to start with, I just want to uh, kind of remind you um, that uh, I do have that uh, website that I just told you about, and there is also um, the page on Facebook uh, that's uh, under clearviews.info as well. To contact me, which I did hear from a couple people during the weekend, but to contact me if you're watching right now, uh, it is 631 599 0218. Or you can email me at Ralph, that's R A L F dot Friedrichs, F R I E D R I C H S, at yahoo.com. You can also go to www.clearviews.info and uh, leave a comment uh, on the upper right hand corner. There's a red arrow. All you have to hit is comments and leave a comment there. You can also go on Facebook and uh, go on to clearviews.info, which is my page. Now, um, we spoke last week about um, uh, certain things. Uh, the first thing that we spoke about was to, uh, uh, if you're ready to quit drinking or to quit your drugs, the steps that need to be taken. I don't want to mention the names, but uh, a friend of mine contacted me and told me that this particular person was ready to do so. And uh, uh, the more uh, he uh, spoke about it, the, the uh, more I was very happy for him first thing I told him was you have to right now say I have had enough I need to go on I want to stop with the drugs or and uh, alcohol so this person contacted me and I'm so happy to hear that and I want to thank him because I'm sure he's watching right now so you know who you are I want to thank you and I want to congratulate you uh, for a job well done um, although it's still a long journey ahead um, the job well done uh, congratulations goes because you are one of the millions that have finally realized that you have a problem that you need help um, we spoke about the different types of help last week and uh, so we're going to discuss this again but before I go any further I besides the person I just spoke to and you know who you are I want to also speak to another person and you know who you are um, that uh, has tried this maybe two or three times and has fallen off fallen off the wagon and I just want to encourage you and I keep telling you this through my texting to you is to not give up don't ever give up dust your knees start all over again you know you can do it and you know who you are okay so I'm not gonna mention names on this website but just start all over again it's never too late to start again so to both my, my friends that have contacted me uh, from different uh, areas of the United States, one being south and one being way north, I want to tell you guys to just continue doing what you're doing and, and things will work out. So let's talk about the steps that are involved again. My friend down south, he took the first step and that was to say, listen Ralph, I have a problem. Uh, actually, this particular person said to me, if you can do it, I can do it. And jokingly, he said, uh, and I'm better looking to you uh, than you. And uh, you know what? Matter of opinion. <laughs> just, uh, just kidding. But so he, he, this particular person is taking that first step. And, and, and I'm so proud of him because uh, all the years that I've known him uh, and uh, he's known me, uh, we both knew we both had drinking issues. Uh, some of us uh, take a little longer than others to come around and admit that. Uh, sometimes it takes my videos, my my uh, chatting and all that to, to show people that there is a better side. Um, this particular person told me that uh, uh, they watched my videos, uh, uh, he did with some other folks, and, and they saw the difference in me. And, um, and there is a difference, and there will be one for you. So this particular person took the first step, and I congratulate this person. Uh, I encourage this person to continue doing what you're doing. Uh, we spoke about the AA being one of the steps. Excuse me, I have an itch. One of the steps being AA. Uh, uh, AA um, has helped millions and millions of people. But mind you, it wasn't for me. 
so when I talk to this person that uh, finally decided he's had enough with the alcohol or and drugs, uh, he, he had also said that uh, he doesn't believe in AA. So I encourage this person to do what you're doing, and that's uh, utilize me, utilize my experiences in the last uh, little bit over a year of sobriety, and my website, and my pages, and, and just my articles. And utilize me to, to be that stepping stone each and every day for you to go and reach your goal of 100% uh, sobriety. So AA didn't work for me, and uh, uh, not to say it won't work for you. Try it. It might work for you. Uh, the other uh, uh, ways of doing it, and if it's a severe situation that you're in, is to go to uh, two ways. Either go to my website, www.clearviews.info, go to page 7. Whatever state you might be in, click on that state and rehab centers will appear there. Click on the rehab center that you're interested in and you can do the programs which are 30, 60, 90 day programs. Those programs are really, they give you 100% of their time to you. So it's a 24-7 uh, rehab uh, situation for you. Uh, unlike my methods where uh, you kind of do it at your convenience, you either watch my video, uh, you do whatever it takes to, to, to keep you uh, sober and off the drugs. And, um, you know, it's, it's a more of a trust issue on your own, how strong is your will. When you go to these rehab centers, they push you, they ride you, and that is great if that's what you need. So it all depends on how strong or weak you are to, to utilize those methods. So we have AA. Will it work for you? That's up to you. Well, that's your choice. You have the rehab, and then you have uh, one of the methods, which is like mine. Now, if you're watching me, and you are so bad off that you need to um, uh, do something now, right now, are you having issues right now? Are you, is, is, is the video that you're watching blurry? Are you having breathing problems? Do me a favor and call 911. If it's that bad that you can't, uh, you know, do anything else, call 911. It doesn't hurt to call them because if it's really that bad, you need to do something. You know, if you had a blackout last night and this morning you're having breathing issues or uh, you're constantly throwing up or you're seeing blood in your throw up, uh, those are all bad signs, so call 911. And then once you uh, come back from uh, whatever emergency that you might have had, uh, we can continue on our journey of sobriety. Our journey being videos, our journey being articles, uh, training ourselves, training our minds to, to, uh, to concentrate on sobriety. And, and it will happen. So uh, I urge you, if that's the situation that you're in right now, call 911. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we'll talk about those uh, two particular situations that I have. We have one person on one side of the United States that wants to start with sobriety and then we have another person that also wants to continue with sobriety uh, but has had a couple little fallings here and uh, like uh, I always say to everybody on all these videos those fallings will happen. It took me about five to six times of saying I've had it, I've had it, I've had it before I finally did have it. You'll know when that time comes, when it's it's so bad that everything around you just collapses, it crashes. Uh, that was me. Uh, when you find yourself falling asleep in a kitchen floor, blacking out, not knowing what you said, where you went, what you did, that was me. When you find yourself uh, yelling at other people and, and slurring your words, that was me. So no matter what your situation is, it's not that bad. Uh, compared to other people that have gone through it. We all are in that same circle of alcoholism and or drug addiction and we all have that. But the key is to finally say I've had it. So uh, to, to my two friends from different sides of the United States, you know who I'm talking about uh, to or about, uh, congratulations on one starting with sobriety and the other one uh, continuing on sobriety. You know, it's a good sign when you do fall off the wagon and you realize when you come down from that high uh, that you made a mistake. That's a good sign because now I see that you're actually, uh, you have a conscience about your alcoholism and or drug addiction. 
because uh, if you did drink and you went to bed and you didn't give a flying hoot the next morning, that wouldn't be good. But the fact that you um, uh, get in contact with me and let me know that, uh, listen, I messed up and I need to do it again, that's 100% good sign and I congratulate any person that does that because that's progress. You're moving forward. You're not moving behind. So that's great. Um, we spoke about those those three issues uh, in reference to treatments, which is uh, methods uh, like mine, uh, the AA again, or the rehab. And uh, once you utilize those methods, whichever one it might be, you need to grow your, uh, on that. Uh, you're like a seed that needs to be watered. And your water to make you grow is continuous knowledge, continual education about your addiction. Because you can't just say, oh, I have a problem and that's it. And just because I'm not drinking today and tomorrow that uh, I'm, I'm healed. No, it's a day-by-day -day, uh, continuous educational uh, situation that you're in. So you have to take one day at a time for the people that are just starting today that say, listen, Ralph, I had it. I want to quit. Worry about today only. Don't worry about tomorrow. And then when you get to tomorrow, worry about it that day. And then, et cetera, et cetera. Each and every day, continue doing what you're doing. But it's day by day. Don't say, oh, well, next week, um, you know, I can't wait for next week because I'll still be sober. Because you don't know if you will be. So that's why you have to take it day by day. And you know what? Smaller pieces, 24 hours is easier to tackle than project a month, project a year. So do it day by day. And that's if you do that, that's absolutely the way to do it. And I want to just remind each and every person that there is nothing, nothing whatsoever in this world that is impossible to do. But the, the, the way to do it is to put your mind to it and to say, I'm going to do it. Because there is really nothing impossible. And for the people that do drink and then do addictions and, and do become sober for a day or two and then fall off the wagon, don't ever give, you, uh, give up. Don't give up. Don't you dare give up. You need to continue. You need to dust your knees and continue and walk forward and start all over again. I couldn't even imagine right now after a year and change of sobriety to suddenly have another drink. I couldn't. And there's a lot of reasons. I explain this to my wife, Casey, a lot, and I, I'll explain it to you. For me, to have a drink, I would let you, my audience, down. I would let me down, which is super important to me, but I would let you, my audience, down. Because you folks out there, if you're watching me and if you've watched me a few times, you're obviously interested in what I have to say. And what a hypocrite would I be to sit here on these videos or to write articles or do my Facebook and then go in the closet and have a beer or a vodka. So I would not only let me down, but I would let you down. And that's one thing I will not do for a drink. That's besides everyone else I would let down. My family, my children, grandchildren. It's not worth it. And I will tell you that sobriety is not a bad thing. I am happy 99% of the time. I mean, not everybody is happy 100% of the time. So even 99% is pretty damn good. But I will tell you that... Um, it is so nice to wake up in the morning, not to worry about what did you say to somebody last night or where did you go? What did you do? It's so nice to wake up in the morning having an appetite, not to have that dry heave or throw up feeling. It is so nice. It's also very nice to know that other people, they see you and they notice the difference in you. They might not want to tell you because they don't want to make you... Uh, feel uh, that, you know, okay, so if I said to you, well, I see the difference in you, you might let your guard down and then possibly make a mistake and drink again. But they do see the difference. And when they do see the difference, they will also show you that they see the difference. They might not tell you because telling you is not the best thing, but showing you. When people see that you're walking around with a smile and, uh, on your face, when people see that uh, your memory is 100% better. When people see all those things, they know that something's working better in your life. It's almost like being on a diet and, and you're a little heavy, uh, like I, I'm, I'm, I'm not 
dead on weight. I'm about 20 pounds overweight. So when you're on a diet, people will notice when you lose weight. Well, the same goes with sobriety. When when you've been an alcoholic or and or addicted on, addicted on drugs, and people have known you most of your life that way, and then suddenly they see a whole different side of you because you're sober, that will show. So, you know, continue doing that. So let's go over the steps. Step number one, I have a problem. Ralph, I have a problem. Because I do have a problem. Just because I've been sober for a year and, a, and a, almost a month now, doesn't mean I'm not an alcoholic, because I am an alcoholic. But I've learned to live with it, and I've learned how to, uh, to, to overcome the addiction. So the, rule number one, or step number one, is to admit that you have addiction. Step number two is to seek treatment. Different steps again. AA works for a lot of people. Didn't work for me. If you're severe, seek a treatment, a rehab center, or you can also do my method. My method does work. It really does work. And, and the results of, of, of people communicating back with me is a sign that it does work. So believe me, it does work. So those are the steps. Step number three. 24 hours at a time in sobriety. Don't project next week, tomorrow, a month from now. Worry about today and then continue that. So you have your three steps. Let's start with that. Once we complete those three steps, which step number three will never be completed because you constantly will go day by day. Take a little calendar. Mark down each day you were sober so you can see where your progress is. How long has it been since I've been sober? I've said this many times in previous videos. I counted my days up to about 100 days and then I really didn't count anymore. And here I am almost at 400 days now. So there's going to be a time where you will probably not want to continue counting anymore. But in the beginning, it's exciting. Because after a month, you're like, wow, I'm a month sober and that's why AA gives out tokens for 24 hours for a week for a month for a year for 25 years because it's it's a positive reinforcement type of thing it's a it's a reward system so seeing those days on your calendar is a reward for something that a lot of people can't do it's to to work through addiction and you can do it so to do that and also keep a journal my journal is my web page it's my facebook uh blog uh, it's my posts. It's my chatting with other people. That's my journal. Keep a journal. Write down your feelings. Don't act on your feelings with alcohol and or drugs. Act with a pen on a journal. So those are the steps. So I hope today has been somewhat informative for you. Uh, I look forward to each and every time we do a video. Um, it's been, what, about almost a week since I did uh, my last video. So uh, expect one this weekend again. And... Uh, you know, I'm, I repeat myself over and over, but it's so exciting to, to repeat this. And that is that nothing, nothing whatsoever is impossible as long as you set your mind to it. And remember, never, ever give up. No matter how many t times you fall off the wagon, don't ever give up. Dust your knees, continue, put out your chest, stand straight up, and continue on your journey of sobriety. Because sobriety will always wait for you. It will. But you need to be the person that walks with it. Grab sobriety by its hand and walk down the path of, of feeling better, the path of uh, making a difference in your life. So nothing is impossible. Don't ever, ever give up. And I hope each and every person here watching, whether you're sober or not, considers being sober or at least consider uh, the possibility of being sober because it's super important that you to, to adhere to what I have to say to you because you'll see such a difference in your life and people will notice and you'll notice. And uh, when I was discussing this issue with a friend of mine last night, I said that you are almost guaranteed a longer life and uh, this person made a remark, not a longer life, but a healthier life. But he's absolutely right. But I will tell you a healthier life also possibly will give you a longer life. So please stick with it. So um, let's just do this together and we'll uh, connect next time again. In the meantime, 631-599-0218 is my phone number. Email address is ralf.fridricks at yahoo.com. 
My website is www.clearviews.info and Facebook page is clearviews.info. I hope to speak to you all real soon. I hope to see you soon. Um, I hope to even get some kind of emails, chatting, whatever, uh, to, to help each and every one because uh, a, a projected world for me would be a crime-free world, addiction-free world, and for everybody to be happy. I know it's a lot to ask for, but I do know that with my help, I can work out possibly eliminating uh, a little bit of the addiction out there through some of my methods and through some of my knowledge. So I hope this video was very helpful. Uh, I encourage each and every one of you to continue on your sobriety or start your sobriety. And if you have fallen off the wagon, uh, dust your knees and continue. Have a great day. A better today is certainly uh, much better than a uh, a, a bad yesterday so if, if if you had a bad yesterday let's concentrate on the better today okay and remember a sober today makes for a better tomorrow so we're gonna be looking forward to tomorrow uh, with a sober today and let's start today have a great day and more important have a sober day bye bye